Hey, this is Kimberly, the editor of Collide. Let's get started with lesson three crash book activities. They will turn to page 14 to begin, and they will copy the letters from the shaded pot pottery pieces into the matching um, blank pottery pieces. And this activity is a little involved and takes a bit of time, so you might want to do this as a class to, to save time. So that shape matches that one, so we'll write that in. All right, so that's a Collide with the Word activity. In this next activity, they're going to cut along the dotted line, fold this page in half, and then cut along these strips to make kind of a lantern. So I'll show you what that looks like. And the instructions are on page 15, so it's pretty simple. Once they're done cutting that out, they'll open it, and then they'll take this together and tape it. And then you can cut a scrap piece of paper as a handle. And you might want to bring in a battery-operated tea light candle. You want to encourage students to use that instead of an actual candle to, to use with their lantern. We're going to use a lantern later in this lesson, so um, we'll just leave that right here. Okay. So the next activity, they will read these, this verse, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 18, and write examples of when they've been hard-pressed, persecuted, perplexed, or struck down, or when their friend has had that happen to them. So for hard pressed. Then they're going to cut out on the dotted lines and fold to reveal um, what God says about each of these, these areas. They'll fold them. They'll write down how God helps them in each of these circumstances. So for the hard pressed on every side. So that's to help them understand that God is with them no matter what um, and that he helps them through trials. And they can also read that Philippians passage, which is on that page. So for the next activity, you're going to take the lantern and they're going to write down weaknesses or abilities that they have, and then they're going to write, write down ways that God uses those weaknesses and abilities to, to live for him. So they'll write down one on one line and one on the next, like that. Okay, so then they will take this lantern home to remember ways God helps them when they feel weak or when they want to use their abilities for him. All right, so that's it for lesson three. See you next week.